Hello Internet, this is Toby from AbletonCourse.de. I'm in the process of creating a course for showing people how to use Ableton to control their DMX lighting. So I'm doing this for quite a while now, but I needed to reprogram my lighting show for my performance and I wanted to have better control and uh, nicer colors. So um, I started out and uh, working something together, patching something together in Max4 Live. So um, let me just show you um, you need a DMX lighting software and a USB to DMX converter and some lightning equipment as well, obviously. And you will need Ableton um, and my patches. You can download my patches now. There will be a link in the video description and um, st just send me an email or um, watch this place uh, if you want to know when the course is gonna be available. So there I'm gonna do everything in detail. This video is just a quick one run through what you can do with the patches. So first you need to set um, the DMX uh, the, the control change numbers, the MIDI change uh, channels, um, you want to send stuff in. Oh, it's the numbers, not the channels. The channel is number one at the moment. So um, you just need to go to your lighting software and I want to control this fader, for example, with the red value I just set here, number 20. So I can just send this out with uh, pressing this button down here red green blue okay so um, still a few things to change in the patch before i send them out but still okay and now i just can i uh, did this with the other ones as well and i can now scroll or click through the, the different colors and my uh, led bar will show the different colors i can put in a fade as well so i can put in a fade by note values or bar values which are relative to the uh, master bpm obviously and um, i can put in milliseconds as well so if i now press between the different colors i get a fade as well Okay, so I can now um, send this MIDI CC data to another MIDI channel and then I can record um, what I'm pressing here. So for example, and I can then just send, send this stuff out to my software and the control change data is being stored in the MIDI clip. So I can set up different MIDI clips for my different songs or different movements and I can copy and paste the clips and use them. Okay, let's stop this one for now and turn this one off. And the second one is a bit different. I have um, a color chart here or a slider and I can slide through the different colors. I have a preview window and I can then send out this, the colors I'm setting in the slider. I can toggle the output as well. So I'm now getting a constant output and I can as well use a, a color picker from my um, inbuilt colors from my computer system and I can now store the different colors in these 12 different fields so for example orange blue and let's use a blackout as well and I can now send those out with here um, the interesting thing about this is that if you go to your MIDI menu, your MIDI sync menu, you will see you can sync those buttons to your hardware controller or you can use your iPad or your Android tablet as well. I'm working on a patch or on a preset um, for the software Touch OSC and this looks like this. The good thing about that is that you can actually look at your lighting while you 
are looking for great colors and then store them, send them out. Of course you can record this data as well into a MIDI clip and if you want to send the data somewhere else afterwards, for example, you have a second LED bar which has the red on the 25, 26 and 27, so red, green, blue. Um, you can capture the values from this MIDI clip and then um, send them out somewhere else. So you can see here are the values and now they're being sent to 25, 26, 27 and you can send the MIDI through, the original MIDI through as well. So you will now get the values on 20, 21 and 22 and 25, 26, 27 as well. Okay, the last tool I got is the show viewer. So um, you can say, okay, I want um, the values from 20, 21, 22 shown in this little preview window and you can use the second one as well and you can use this one even with a bigger one as well so you have eight um, eight lights to control or to preview here as well so you can watch your full light show in this window okay I have an open in window button here as well and yes it's working that's great so you can actually um, have your different windows uh, where is it it's opening up on the second screen so if you take it in here and then you can have multiple windows on your computer screen and kind of see how your light show is gonna look even if you haven't set up your lighting gear okay you can get the patches um, now just follow the link in the video description if you are interested in finding out more and if you want the touch osc templates as well please drop me a mail or watch this place um, um, the course is hopefully going to be released in uh, september 2016 so um, then you will find um, a detailed um, video tutorial description of how to set up everything from scratch so this is really from beginners to setting up a whole light show okay stay tuned